7B92. Line 22, 7B92, phenol resonance, scattering wave formulas, waves formula, alien radio signal. This is the phenol resonance asymmetric line shape particle scattering formula methods and PDF results found in the wild data line 22. So it was based on the keywords from a formula found in nuclear magnetic resonance and microscopic homogeneities. Uh, line 227B73, isotropic interactions formula. So I key keyword Google controlled dephasing. Quotes from PDF file results on the blog was called controlled dephasing in single dot Aronov bomb interferometers. There's a name of the scientist from Romania and Turkey. Um, it was January 2007. The keywords were phenol effect and Aronov bomb oscillations. July 1st, my thoughts. Earl says there, there are five articles to look at for this keyword phenol effect. Keyword Google phenol effect, quote wiki. In physics, a phenol resonance is a type of resonance scattering phenomena that gives rise to asymmetric line shape. Interference between a background and a resonance scattering process produces the asymmetric line shape. It is named after Italian physicist Ugo Fano, who gave a theoretical explanation for the scattering line shape of inelastic scattering of electrons off of helium. However, Ettore Marjorana was the first to discover the, this phenomenon because it is a general wave phenomenon. Examples can be found across many areas of physics and engineering. So there's the red, green, and blue lines of spectra. Plot of scattering cross-section versus normalized energy for various values of the parameter Q, illustrating the asymmetric final line shape. Mm. Notice the red one, Q equals 2. You know what I'm going to say that looks like. History. The explanation of the final line shape first appeared in the context of inelastic electrons scattering by helium and auto-ionization. The incident electron doubly excites the atom to 2s2p state. The doubly excited atom is spontaneously decays by ejecting one of the excited electrons. Fanel showed that interference between the amplitude to sc simply scatter the incident electron and the amplitude to scatter via auto-ionization creates an asymmetric scattering line shape around the auto-ionization energy with a line with very closely the inverse of the auto-ionization lifetime. Explanation the phenol resonance line shape is due to interference between two scattering amplitudes, one due to scattering within a continuum of states, the background process, and the second due to the excitation of a discrete state, the resonant process. <sighs> Sorry. The energy of the resonant state must lie in the energy range of the continuum background state for the effect to occur. Near the resonant energy, the background scattering amplitude typical varies slowly with energy while the resonant scattering amplitude changes both in magnitude and phase quickly. It is this variation that creates the asymmetric profile. For energies far from the resonant energy, the background scattering process dominates within 2T res of the resonant energy. The phase of the resonant scattering amplitude changes by pi. It is this rapid variation in phase that creates the asymmetric line shape. Fanel showed that the total scattering cross section of this symbol here assumes the following form. So there's their calculation there. Where the T res describes the line width of the resonant energy, and Q, the Fanel parameter, measures the ratio of resonant scattering to the direct background scattering amplitude. This is consistent with the interpretation within the Feshbach Fanel partitioning theory. This is a long video, just so you know. I go through all this and then I go through the formula, okay? In the case the direct scattering amplitude vanishes, the Q parameter becomes infinite, and the final formula boils down to the use of Brett Wigner Lorentzian formula, which is this one. Examples of final resonance can be found in atomic physics, nuclear physics, condensed matter physics, circuits, microwave energy, engineering, and nonlinear optics and nano. Photonics. Photonics, sorry. July 6th, there we go. Formula from the data. So this is phantom resonance plus resonance scatterings, rise, asymmetric, line shape, 
Interference between background resonance scattering process produces asymmetric line shape. Google Fano theoretical explanation scattering line shape inelastic scattering electrons off helium. Etor Majorana discover general wave phenomena physics engineering. Plot scattering cross section versus normalized energy various values parameter Q which should be the 60 QUJ5. Sorry, that's the wow signal. Alien signal wow. Um, illustrating asymmetric fan line shape. My thoughts looking at this diagram below. Guess what I'm going to say? <laughs> Plot of scattering cross section refers to normalized energy for various values of the parameter Q, illustrating the asymmetric final line shape. Okay? Um, Q equals zero. Okay? Q equals zero and one and two. Plus the 60 QUJ5 from the alien radio signal, wow, comes to mind from this plot of scattered cross section versus normalized energy fan shape line diagram. Oh, I left out. The Q equals 2. Sorry, the red one, the red line. Q equals 2. Q equals 2 looks like the Higgs boson signal from CERN's uh, June 2012 data. Okay? I thought I did it, but I didn't. So the formula continues. Fano plus line shape. Ooh, I need to add that in there. Fano plus line shape, electron scattering, helium autonization. I'm going to add Higgs boson signal. Nulls, and we're going to add some laser beams with crystals and super lattice. Yeah, I found the new word. I just kept doing that lattice before. I like super lattice before because it actually just actually talks about what I'm what this thing does. Okay, mesh and then we're gonna add electron doubly excites the atoms to two S two P. State doubly excited atoms spontaneously decays. So um we're gonna alpha decay okay, with one proton by ejecting one excited electron plus one proton. Okay. My thoughts. The Higgs boson signal. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it came up. Um, the Higgs boson signal, CERN 2012 data, ejecting protons from alpha decay particles, neurons, question mark. So, formula continues. The final interference between amplitude scatter incident electron amplitude scatter autonization creates asymmetric scattering line shape around autonization energy line width close inverse autonization lifetime phano resonance line shape interference between two scattering amplitudes my thoughts see the formula with the vacuum created within the higgs electronic fields um there's two series here i got the wow data which would be line 22 and then i also have higgs boson videos Serious that are not number, and I think there were several of those. And people were asking me to, um, in the comments, they asked me to expand on it. It's like I don't even know what I'm doing here, bud. Um, basically, whatever comes to mind, whatever I'm told to write, I write. Okay. So if it's something that needs expanding, it's going to have to be something that you guys do yourself. Because unless I get more data given to me. Um, Again, when I would do the cross-reference by line 27, when I start cross-referencing, I'll probably start finding whatever you guys are blogging on your blogs, your science results, your PDF results. Um, they are coming up, and I'm connecting the ones together that need to go together. And then you just have to, you know, do those results together and see what you get, okay? So a few videos ago, argon gas plus neutrinos mixtures balancing on a certain type of graphite polymer wall. I remember doing that in a video. I don't remember which one it was, though. Sorry about that. The formula continues. One scattering within continuum state. Actually, you know what? We should do a cross-reference then, right? Line 27. We're going to do graphite. Graphite. Polymer. And colliding. With argon gas. Neutrinos mixtures. 
and we'll see what happens, okay? So I'm going to put down July 13, 2013. I just made a little note for myself to cross-reference here, okay? And then I'll stick that up at the top when I get a chance to. Um, I'll do that after we're done filming. So the format continues. Uh, one scattering within continuum states, background, process, second, excitation, discrete state, resonant process, exciting talk. Actually, you know what? Better yet, I'm going to stick it right in with the formula just to be on the safe side. Yeah. That way, I can't go wrong, right? So, um, forget where I was. Um, one scattering within quantum states, this is the formula. Background process, second excitation, discrete state, resonant process. Exciting the tau. So that would be a tau neutrino. Can't type today. Electron neutrinos within cooled liquid argon gas plasmas. Um, add energy, resonant state, lie in energy range, continuum, background states, effect occur. The energy, energy range should be the Higgs boson signal electric field near resonant energy background scattering. Amplitude varies slowly. Energy resonant scattering amplitude changes both magnitude phase quickly. Variation creates asymmetric profile. Variation creates asymmetric profile. Energies. That's just a repeat. Get that out. Sorry. Energies far from the resonant energy. Background scattering process dominates within T2 res. I better type that because those little symbols don't show up when I do them. R-E-S. There we go. I think it's a T. I don't know what that is. Plus resonant energy. Scattering changes by to pi. Um, rapid variation phase creates asymmetric line shape. Fanal scattering cross section plus. I don't know what this symbol is. I don't know if it's waveform. I forget what it's called. I've come across it, but I don't really know what these symbols mean. It assumes the following form where T res. So if I put T res plus line width, resonant energy plus Q, the final parameter measures ratio resonant scattering, a direct background scattering amplitude. Then I take the flashback phenol partitioning theory and add direct scattering. Amplitude vanishes. The Q parameter infinite phenol formula boils down to the Brett Wigner Lorenza formula. And then fesh phenol partitioning plus relativistic Brett Wigner distribution plus four momentum Minkowski for norm canonical canonical mo momentum. Sorry. I didn't know what that was. So, quotes from Wiki, Minkowski norm calculating the Minkowski norm of the four momentum gives a Lorentz invariant quantity equal up to factors of the speed of light. C to the square of the part particle's proper mass. Canonical momentum is in the presence of an electromagnetic potential for a charged particle of par charge Q moving in an electronic magnetic field given by Electromagnetic for potential. Fanal resonance tags are atomic physics, nuclear physics, condensed matter physics, circuits, and microwave engineering, nonlinear optics, nanophotonics. July 6. I'm going to Google relativistic Brett Wigner distribution for momentum, um, Minkowski norm, canonical momentum. Fanal resonance formula continues in the next several videos. And the keyword fesh back fanal partitioning will be in the next video. So I take the keywords I don't understand and I put them into separate videos. Thanks for watching for so long.